And we are high atop and deep inside world headquarters of J-Rod and the Boss Lady. Another week, another episode, another fine establishment, another fine drinking hole. Abi yes. Maria. It is in Dade land. She's watching over us. That's it. What's it? <laughs> She is. Watch out! Watch out! You, we need we need a little Jesus, a little Ave Maria, La Virgen de Guadalupe, because between there only no there's no more Virgen in here. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> yes, J Rod and the Boss Lady for you. I'm a J Rod show. You are at three zero five Miami sixty nine twenty four. And we want to thank all the fine people here at Ave Maria for opening up the door. You can hook them up at bar abimaria.com. You can also hit them up on Instagram at bar abimaria. Great chef Jorge Ramos. Jorge Ramos, all the stuff oh, that he look does. At you. Look at Ramos. Not the guy from Univision. The other, <laughs> no, the other, the other, the other Jorge Ramos. I don't know if he's still in jail in Venezuela, but <laughs> Ave Maria in Dadeland here in the south side of Miami. Come over here, say hello, have a bite. They, let, they even let you smoke cigars outside. I know, and there's Domino's table. Domino's. That's right. You know, seis or nueve? All times. Nueve. Nueve. I'm just, wait. You guys say ni say. No te insultes. It's nine. Nine is the right oi, oi, bones. Llegaste hoy. <laughs> llegaste hoy enterita. It's hump day. Estás. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Sunday. It's the whatever oh, day of the week it that's is. That's right. Oye, esta vieja ha estado haciendo televisión todo su vida y todavía no sabe nada. <laughs> Increíble. Uh, for the record. Estás in, mira, estás insoportable. Insoportable. Maybe that'll be the Spanish that's word of the, the day. That's not the Spanish word of no, the day. that's coming up later. But listen, we want to thank everybody. Listen, hit us up on YouTube, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, all the usual suspects. Yes. You can listen to the show. The show drops on Sunday. Spanish word of the day is Wednesday. Subscribers are going up. Views are going up. Minutes yes, are going thank up. Thank you all. Thank you yes. for making it happen here on J-Rod and the Boss Lady. Absolutely. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about. Because I always like to talk dating with you. Yes, you're because my, I have like the worst <laughs> dating you're, you're, stories. You're my lifeline <laughs> to what's going up in the nonsense that is the dating world. Yes, a lot you know? of it. A so, lot of nonsense. So Don't 20, get me started. First of all, I can't believe 2019 is almost over with, by the way. Well, I know. It, where has the time crazy. passed? That means, that means we're doing it right. That means we're having some fun, right? Too much fun. Way too much fun. Well, no, there are dating trends of 20. 19. 2019. And I just want to know if you have either done this, <laughs> experienced this it, has happened to yes, you. Yes, yes. I've got a feeling that these will have happened to you. The, the, the first weird dating trend is I'm ready. trickle ghosting. Not ghost tickling, which I can see. <laughs> but it'll trickle ghosting. Ever heard of trickle ghosting? No, okay. until now. <laughs> okay, apparently it describes. A situation when you think everything is good with your partner or your hookup or mm, whatever. Yeah. And then slowly the partner gently retreats. Fading away. Progressively less and less available. Mm -hmm. They don't text you back. Mm -hmm. For days, it's also known as the slow fade. Exactly. Slow have you fade. have you trickle ghosted? Have you slow faded? Have I've, you been slow faded? I think I've done I've I have been uh, the recipient and have done it myself. At the end, I always tell people though, like this ain't working out. Ghosting. I mean, listen. Apparently, I've always said either the booty wasn't that good, or you know, you're not gonna be or, in town. Or the so. person is too crazy. <laughs> How about pocketing? Have you ever done any pocketing? What's pocketing? Okay, pocketing is when you don't introduce your partner to your family, your friends. All the time. <laughs> Nothing. It's, All the it's time. Like, listen, we just hook up, but you're not going to meet my friends. You're not going to meet no, my wife. I mean, my, uh, <laughs> my husband. What? <laughs> what? Is, was that a Freudian slip there? A Freud, no? Happily. Uh, happily. Uh, happily. Okay, bueno, bueno. Just picking up. But, yes, pocketing. Now, no, pocketing, nobody though, gets to meet anybody unless it's official. Pocketing has always been like, you know, you put your hands in your... Mm -hmm. right? Hey, keep it hidden. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's well, this is the, the new millennial terms. Now it's changed. This one is interesting. Uh-huh. Cookie jarring. Have you all done cookie jarring? That's, that's, to me, that sounds like sexual. Like, you put the whole fist Absolutely. In there wait, 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 wait. The whole fist. <laughs> don't I get it? <laughs> some, some people have talent. Yeah, no. Some, some people, people are, don't... Some people are... Mammoth. <laughs> right, this is when you keep somebody around just when you want a little snack, when you want a little treat. Yes. Uh, you don't see a future with the person. Uh, they're probably even in good for you. 
Because <laughs> a cookie really that's isn't like, that good for you. That's like everybody I've dated. Right. Is basically but they're a fun little <laughs> snack when you're in the mood for something sweet. Uh, Just like a cookie. A cookie. I like Do it. Do you keep boys in a cookie jar? Possibly. I can either a lady deny never tells. or confirm maybe, on the grounds that it may. Maybe not. <laughs> I love it. This place is jumping. It's busy. Come down here and say hello. How about U-turning? Have you done U-turning? Yes. It's like, what? It's, is, is that when you like somebody and then you're like, what? Never mind. I don't really like it's you. It's when you, you're in a relationship when you simply... Okay, everyone has had a moment in a relationship or while simply seeing someone new when something unpleasant happens. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, they piss you off or like that. And then you realize, red flag, I'm out. So everything's yeah. been great. And then you realize they poop. Yep, and, and they, that's it. And they, and they, or they fart. <laughs> that's not what it is. It's, they have to do something major that pisses you off. And you're just like, forget it. You turning. I you turn a lot. <laughs> this one... This one, it, a little, a little, I was I was talking to our very gorgeous uh, uh, assistant here, the person that's helping us out here, yeah. Catherine, I believe her name is. Yes. Oh, when you see my Catherine. <laughs> see, you see how you remember her name very fast. Well, you know, I'm just saying, she she's been helped. She helped us get settled up here. She's got arms for days. She's picking up chairs, all solid. I know. Come now, be Maria. How about Catherine? Will you? Mm -hmm. It is Catherine, right? <laughs> um, ghosting. Ghosting. Yeah, now, that's, ghosting that's, is that's easy. Right? That's, that's a millennial. That's like everybody knows what ghosting that's is. That's like a millennial event now these days. They even do it for you work. Stop, you just stop talking. Yeah, people get hired. And then they just, and they just don't show up. Yeah. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Are you picking up what he's putting Ooh. out right now? <laughs> well, I'm, just, Are his I'm eyes seeing Catherine focused. picking up tables and stuff. <laughs> Catherine, come over here and show these guns to the people. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you know, the, the size zero over here is got. Hey, look at those my guns. My goodness. <laughs> How's man supposed to work with all this happening around me? All right. So no ghosting there. Right? How, how about haunting? <laughs> who's, who's, who made these? The Ghostbusters? This, this is, this is, this is, we're doomed. This is but the future. Haunting, haunting is, yeah, like when people, people like they stop kind of like talking to you, but then they still like check out all your right. social this is, media. This is when someone's ghosted you, but they're not completely out of the picture. I know somebody who haunts a lot. Okay, they cut off all... You do? Yes. Can't. Do tell. Explica. Uno que me tiene la vida hecho huevo. An egg? <laughs> he has made your life an egg? Yes, that's for another That's for another Spanish huevo. phrase of the... <laughs> and the JR so, and the boss lady. they ghost you, but then they will like your pictures on Instagram. They'll maybe give you an LOL on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so why would you do that? Moveon.com. <laughs> You know what that is i guarantee you about 95 percent of that are guys that that's the well i don't know if girls do listen, that that, I'm is the what's that is the equivalent of when you're on when you're on social media mm -hmm. and you see that some girl broke up like the minute somebody's relationship changes, changes. to single then that's on it. facebook on instagram it goes oh Hey girl, hey stranger, <laughs> how you been? The hey stranger's always Hey up. girl, hey how you? long has it been? I don't hey know since you? I've been in a relationship, maybe that's how long it's been. <laughs> oh, shady people. Haunting, all right. How about benching? Have you benched somebody? Yeah. It's also called back burning. Yeah, because you have to hey, have esto, a bench. Esto muy if, you're, if you're focused on one person, but then you keep the bench warmers there just in case. You just case. can't keep people on the side? Yeah, just, is, is that kind of like the cookie jar? No, because the cookie jar, you're like actually like sleeping with them. In my interpretation, the bench, you're just. I'm. A, I'm. Oh my God. I'm, first of all, the air conditioning just went off. Thank I'm... God. <laughs> it's hot in here. It's hot, man. It's Miami. It's of course it's hot. It's roasting down Sorry, here. Sorry. So how how <laughs> how deep is your bench? No, my bench is pretty empty right now. I'm cutting everybody off. <laughs> because I'm pissed off with everybody right Pero now. What? <laughs> Again, the shirt should is, I am not mad, I'm Cuban. I know, but really, right now, I'm just done with everybody. I'm like, eh, Get no. the boss. Who hurt you, boss lady? Nobody hurt me. I'm just done. Who hurt you? Everybody's the, too... The, 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 I'll give you a hug. Oh, la niña, la baby. Listen, listen. Oh, smell so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you creepy, me creepy on that one. What no. a creep! Wait, has anybody ever sn smelled your hair like yes. on a train yes. or, on a, or on a bus? Or, or grabbed it like, oh, you have nice hair. I'm like, no, first I don't. All, don't do first that. of all, no, 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 don't <laughs> do that. All, what are you doing? Don't do yeah. that. <laughs> okay, what about bread crumbing? Have you bread crumbed? I don't know what that one is. A slight variation 
of the benching. It's kind of like okay. The, okay, breadcrumbing is when someone shows you just enough interest. Oh yeah, I've had that done to just me so much. Enough. It's ridiculous. That's a why. Flirty that's text. why I don't mind the off. A flirty <laughs> text, a little snappy chat, the snap um. book, the facey space. <laughs> The my book, the, the my gram, my space. What are you? The, the facey space, the facey space, the insta book. What? What? What'd you, what? See, are, I'm like 25, but, but, but see, I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm real. I'm 97. All the alcohol, clearly, all the alcohol has preserved me. Oh, that's what it is. Ah, that's what it is. No, no tinte. I've given up on the tinte. I'm just living my gray life now. I've given up. You're living your gray life. I'm living my gray life. What about what about life? What about stashing? Have you done stashing? Stashing when you like stash money in your pocket or stash toys? Stashing, I thought, is when you have a mustache and you go down on somebody. Oh, that's a good one. I like that. I like that. That's a stashing one. Now, stashing is when you date someone, um, you see them regularly, you text them all the time. but never met their friends, never part of visible life. It's called stashing. I thought that that was already one that we covered. No, but that's different. This one is your your this this one is you haven't met them. Okay. This one is you're already dating okay. and you still haven't met them. Okay. All right. There's something got to be weird. If I mean, listen. Uh, if, that, you have, that, if you don't want to introduce day, your that, person to that, that's to, a booty call. Yeah. If you don't want to introduce your person to like your family, your friends. Like, I get you if you got a kid. That's yeah. That's true. Because uh, little Timmy's got about 75 uncles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, mommy. What about zombieing? Who wrote these? This, whoever came up with these terms has to be like a Walking Dead fan. I think it's somebody that's sitting in a basement going, I'm not going to call it zombieing. It's going to be wonderful. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, the what's Following God, ghosting, it's the individual who dropped you like a hot potato. Y'all don't get on my hoodie. Fuera! I know Ignored you for weeks and then suddenly rises from the dead. Oh, I have somebody like that. Especially hey, how have you been? Especially when it's cane season coming up. That's when it's like, oh, hey, I'll see you at the games. Or when you have a highly successful YouTube show, people come out of the woodwork. That's true. That's okay, girl. That's okay, man. Oh, did, I, did I say girl? I didn't mean girl. I mean, I mean, I mean. What? Uh, whatever, I, whatever you meant. Abi Maria. You. Abi yes. Maria. Drinks, food. Good. This is like celebrity chef stuff. Here. Mm-hmm. So, I still want to see what that cookie jar here is all about. <laughs> I sent you a good text yesterday. I don't know if you paid attention to were it. Were you drunk or was I drunk? I think probably both of us were. <laughs> probably. And we're back here at Abi Maria in uh, Dadeland here in the south side of Miami. What with this with this beautiful What's Virgin Maria? Virgin Mary here here you're, you're you're about as are you sure it's not gonna like explode no, it's in not your gonna hands? Explode. It's not gonna explode. It's like holy it's water not, to not, burst not, in the flame. Ah, I'm the one that's burning. <laughs> Listen, we'll, we'll put we'll put here like just to just kind of keep an eye on things. Yes, you guys, Abi Maria Bar and Refuge. That's right. That's right. Go to Instagram. It's Bar Abi A B I M A R I I Bar Abi Maria, and that's also their uh, website, uh, Bar Abi Maria dot com. So crazy little, you know. The Rich Paul. You know who Rich Paul is? The Rich Paul rule? Yes. Rich Paul is LeBron James' agent. Mm-hmm. And he, it, it's a fascinating story how they met because I guess LeBron was in high school and Rich Paul was selling T-shirts out of his, the, the trunk of his car or whatever. Mm-hmm. And they, they, they met. They became friends. And as each of their careers grew, um, LeBron said, hey, you want to be my agent? And he's turned into probably the most, the Very most successful, successful agent. agent. Yeah. Right now, and you know, Rich Paul, he's got he's got LeBron, he's got Anthony Davis, Draymond Green, Ben Simmons, a lot of high profile NBA players. So the the NCAA has passed a, a rule now a for agents. Rule. Now, first of all, this is the first time now that college basketball players are going to be able to hire an agent to explore yeah, if they're going to go to the draft. Go to the NBA. And if they don't go to the draft, they they. They release the agent, and they're, and they're, they're still and eligible to play. Because yeah. before, if you hired an agent, you're that's through. That's it. Right, right, Maria? Right. <laughs> exactly. So now the NCAA has uh, created that for you to be an agent now. Yeah, they have new this policies. Is the, this is the NCAA saying this. Brand new. To be able to represent college basketball players in the NCAA, you've got to have a bachelor's degree, which Rich Paul doesn't. Which didn't, right? 
you've got to be certified for three years with the National Basketball Players Association, the union, mm. and you have to go to the NCAA offices in Indianapolis to take an exam to be certified. Why do you think that they, they've made these changes? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Hmm, that's mighty white of them to try to figure this out. Hmm. Maria, your thoughts? No, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, it doesn't mean Rich Paul cannot sign players, but it, what it means now is since Rich Paul is not considered an NCAA approved agent, if you sign with Rich Paul, your eligibility is gone. Right. But if you're like a number one pick or you're going to be a number one pick and you know you're going to leave and go to the pros, you can Rich Paul still so they don't have, guys. they don't have it like as a grandfathered in for certain guys that have already been no. agents and have a track record. But I will say this. One of my favorite restaurants is in Indianapolis. It's called St. Elmo's, by the way. Really? You can make all the you can make the who farted face you want to make. <laughs> Your favorite but restaurant? One of my favorite restaurants oh. is in Indianapolis. It's called St. Elmo's. Okay. Like St. Elmo's they're, they're Fire? Known, yes, exactly. They're oh, known okay. for their shrimp cocktails. Mm -hmm. Great steaks. Mm -hmm. It is a must if you're ever in Indianapolis. Shout out to and Nikki Blaine's great cigar bar in Indianapolis. Uh -huh. Great cigar. I got, I got into a fight. Almost got into a fight. With a you? bouncer. You? I'm and it surprised. Wasn't, and it wasn't my fault. <laughs> he couldn't handle all this sizzle. That's what it was. No, I was, I was, it was freezing in Indianapolis, okay? And I was trying to get into the, and I was next to get into the bar, and the bouncers were holding everybody up. And I kind of had my head down. I was, you know, feeling gravity's pull. I wasn't drunk, but I wasn't sober. And I guess somebody behind me mouthed off at the bouncer. And the bouncer thought it was that me. Was you. Yo, que soy tan buena gente. <laughs> never said anything, never said peep to anybody. <laughs> peep. <laughs> Anyway, guy wanted to fight. And I'm like, <laughs> what happened? He's like, oh, well, you think you're a tough guy? I was like, what'd you do? Did you end up sweet talking your way out no, of it? No, but I was, I was like, what are we? I was like, what? He's like, you want to fight? I go, okay, let's fight. But, but, but what, what are we fighting about? I just got here. ¿Qué pasó aquí? And then, the, then his boss, like the bouncer in charge or yeah. whatever, said, hey, it wasn't him. Apologize. Uh, and he, made, he apologized to me. Me? Did you get a free drink? No, I got I got <laughs> in, but uh, but I was like, wait. It would have been nicer if you had a free yes, drink. Yes, calm down, <laughs> calm down, Indy. We love you, Indy. We feel you. Well, it wasn't Indy. It was just that one jabroni. <laughs> yeah. But I still I still love Nikki Blaine's in Indianapolis. That's so, awesome. Um. So yeah. So so all these trips now to Indianapolis. I mean, I mean, what are we doing? Can we can we at least? I don't know. Do 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 you do you like? People hiding racism, or is it good just to be out and out in front with the racism? I think it's good to be out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just at least we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we know who's who's out there. I mean, <laughs> part of me says, you know what? It's good to know the score, right? I mean, that way there's exactly. no there's no there's no fooling around. There's no you you don't you're not blinded by it. You know what's going on. You know who it is and who doesn't like who and. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's pretty Maria, ridiculous. Well, come on, get on this, Maria. <laughs> why I, I don't I don't get why they need to have a bachelor's degree. Because again, because listen, I think. I think part of it is I understand if you don't you maybe, hire your your uncle, your uncle Phil, right. or your cousin. Okay, so then I understand primo, that I understand I the part of like having experience, it, it, you know, showing that you've had experience doing this, but you shouldn't need a bachelor's degree. I mean, at the end of the day, if you want to hire your grandfather, you want to hire your your yeah, it your shouldn't dad, matter actually. Who cares? You want to hire your mom? You want to hire yeah, your, it's your agent? Who, who cares? That's your agent. I hired Maria to be my agent. That's what. That's who's running J. Rod and the boss lady. A lot of prayers. <laughs> Maria, Maria's thick. She's heavy. And then, she's, <laughs> Usually, Maria's are thick and heavy. We are. <laughs> hmm, I don't know about that. <laughs> hey, so did you see what's going on in Manhattan Beach? Now Manhattan <laughs> Beach. Manhattan Beach, cool, chill area. Isn't, that, isn't that your? Isn't that your people's? Yeah, it's that's your I'm area. From my last, that's my town. Now Manhattan Beach. Listen, Hermosa Beach is more. Your place. Shaka bra. Let's let's have a beer. Manhattan okay. is more the the uppity white people. Uh, you, Brenda, <laughs> Brenda, what's? I've never seen that sedan driving around here. <laughs> Maybe we should call the police. No, I shouldn't. Shouldn't. You shouldn't stereotype all. But I will. But I will because that's Manhattan Beach. <laughs> but anyway, there's there's a spot in Manhattan Beach where there was a, there's a woman there who has a who has a duplex. Uh huh. I saw that hot mess. <laughs> and apparently she was renting it out. As an Airbnb. Mm -hmm. Which and is it, fine. But in Manhattan Beach, you can't do that. Oh, you can't rent out an Airbnb. Illegal to rent out a residence or to rent out a property. You have to be a hotel. You have to be yes. licensed. Again, another of way course, to... Of course, another way to control people's quilito, money. Quilitos. Yes. The so, hullums. So sh this, this woman who owns a house, Catherine Kidd, mm -hmm. 
Got Catherine Kidd. Four thousand dollars she had to pay. Four thousand dollars for what? For for having an Airbnb? That's what the city fined her. So it's a lot of cities that actually don't let you have well, Airbnbs. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, you know, I think my South Beach they did that part, here. Part of it is safety. Part of it. Part of it is because uh, hotels are losing money. Sure, <laughs> that's another thing. And I mean, I would like to think it's safety, but we know it's it's not because of that. But so apparently, Catherine mm-hmm. has an artist friend mm-hmm. <laughs> who has painted the duplex bright ass pink. <laughs> That, was there a regulation or rules against that? No, what? And then she put <laughs> two emojis. <laughs> one sticking with, it to the man. One with its tongue hanging out and, <laughs> and, and, and eyes cross-eyed. <laughs> and another one which has a zipper yeah. across, across, which means shut up. <laughs> now, both emojis have fake eyelashes because the lady that knocked her out had fake eyelashes. Fake eyelashes. Now, here's the best part. Na- the- neighbors are complaining. Of course they are. <laughs> creating a nuisance. But the city councilman said, wait, we can't tell people what to paint in their house. It's not a condo. It's not an association. So now she's really pissing them off. What? <laughs> you see what happens when you try to control people? <laughs> Have you ever had a pain in the ass neighbor? Have you been a pain in the ass neighbor? No comments, because I still have some. Yes. So, so rude. And the worst is that they're a bunch of chivatos. <laughs> what does that mean? What is? How do you say chivatos in English? Well, say it to me in Spanish. Chivatos, when they're like, they, they, they're chivmosos. They call oh. like the cops on you. Oh, I thought, I thought, see, when I heard chivatos, I said que, que, que chivan mucho. No, no, que, chivato. Que te mortifican, that they bother. No, chivato is when you like tell. El chisme. On, Chimosos. No, but yeah, but you call like the cops. Don't be a chivato. It's, it's a whole lot. It's no Scarface, bro. So what's happening at your house that they're calling the cops? Oh, nothing. They're not calling the cops on me now. Leave the gun. Take the yayo. <laughs> no, Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens to you? I said no kids. I said no kids. Now look at you. <laughs> yes. See, chivato I, neighbors. I had a neighbor that I My neighbors think. drive me nuts now because I still have wood on my windows. For the hurricane? I have wood every morning. I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna take that wood down because there's sorry, hurricanes sorry, here. Buddy, yeah, we'll just, yeah sorry, turn her sorry, around. Sorry, turn sorry, her around. Sorry. I'm not taking that wood down from my windows because there's a hurricane here all the time. It's summertime. I had to get up on the second floor, put these wood, and nobody was helping me. And then so they're like, Oh, you, that's you, why you're mad at everybody? No, because they want me to take it down. I'm like, it's my house, I'm gonna keep that wood there. Logan, me salga del exactly. What does it bother you? It's my house. So I had a neighbor that I don't think she was a prostitute, but man, she sure had sex like a prostitute. <laughs> and I would go out on my balcony uh-huh. and smoke my cigars. Mm-hmm. And my balcony was sort of like in and like, I like, don't think that bothered you though. No, no, no. <laughs> but it was sort of I, I you could sit there and you couldn't see anybody that was in the balcony. Right. So it was kind of like privacy, but you could see over the balcony and you could see like downstairs. Mm-hmm. It was like a big, it was like a big circular building. Mm-hmm. And there was a woman who always had sex with her with her drapes she open. likes it al fresco but let me t- let me tell you it was thank you yes. a, little, a little a little refreshing refill the story getting the story's getting hot <laughs> refill yes please so abi maria by the way the best yes. the best spot look, here. At, look at the service <laughs> go to uh, barabemaria.com and that's the instagram as well mm-hmm. uh, bar abi abi Maria. Abby, I was going to say, what happened? You turned you turn Gringo Lami off me there? I can, I, I, I've, I've, been, I've been to Caucasia. I, I've got that stamped on my passport. <laughs> so this lady is having sex. Drapes open. I am at the end of my life. And, she, and, she's, she likes to show up? Again, so I'm sitting there smoking my cigars going, should I be watching this? Yeah, and you, you're I like, mean, yes. I have, I, I have every <laughs> right. And that's my, that's my question. I have every right to sit on my balcony, right? Yes. And smoke my cigars. Yes. And, and she has every, every right? right to have sex yes. with, with, with her drapes open. Yeah. So is it weird that I watch? No. I it's, mean, should it's, I, should it's I, a television show. It's I, out there for the viewing. I, if, if I'm sitting on my balcony, if you're sitting on your balcony, I tranquilo. Not being creepy. I'm not, I'm not, not I'm not, you know. <laughs> yeah, that would I'm be not, creepy. I'm not sacco the end of But if you're sitting there and all of a sudden your neighbor starts having sex, should I, should you get up and leave? No, I'd watch applaud? too. Oh, if should it's Should you like, get a timer? If it's like really good, you should definitely applaud. Yeah, she was really good. Then I'd applaud. Clearly, clearly. I think she was a yoga instructor. <laughs> what is it? Dog facing down, dog down. Dog, dogward fa- <laughs> downward facing dog. Sun salutation. Clearly, I don't do yoga. I do yoga all the time. I love yeah. it. Yeah. So you can suck your own? <laughs> if I could suck my own, I wouldn't be here right now. 
I'd be on the internet <laughs> charging. <laughs> I was like, we are on the internet. Right? YouTube, YouTube, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud. See what do you and mean? And it's free, so subscribe, <laughs> like. Good stuff. Keep downloading. Do whatever you want with it as long as you like it and keep watching. And even if you don't like it, keep watching. <laughs> Maybe you'll eventually like it. No manches. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can stroke to it and still be better. <laughs> so I have an I, so I have another question for you. Okay. Have you heard this new thing called number neighbors? No. Unless it's a 69. I, I am fa <laughs> I am fascinated. Oh, yeah, Maria, perdón. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, I am fascinated by number neighbors. This is totally millennial. But what you do is you you know you know your cell phone number, right? Mm -hmm. And you basically the last digit of your number. Okay. So if you're if the last four of your number are five 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 five. Okay. You text your number uh -huh. minus the last digit, so it would be five 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 four. Okay. And you text, hey, neighbor, we're neighbors. What's we should, up? We should totally do I this. did that. I did that. I texted my guy. <laughs> hey, nunca me contestó. Uh, and the answer me, he was like, yes, hey, But you only did one. You can I, change I did, all of them. I did the number below. Okay, and did you do the number above? I, I'm going to do the number above right now. <laughs> but how crazy is that? I think it'll would, be, is that, would that be Would that be creepy? Like, if you all of a sudden you get a text, bling, and you're like, it's, this is my number except for the last digit, which is one less. Yeah. And they're like, hey, what's up, number neighbor? <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> okay, if you say hey, that. Hey, girl, what's up? Well, you don't know if it's a girl or a guy. Well, I'm, I'm an assuming now, it's a girl. Now, if you do, hey, number neighbor, what's hey, up? Hey, number neighbor. No, I, you should send a voice You should send a hey, video. Hey, number neighbor, what's going on? You should do a video. <laughs> <laughs> then that'll be funny. Well, see, what I, if somebody meets, like, the love of their life? Like that. that could happen. Like, like I'm gonna for, start getting busy with these. Like for numbers. me, like I have a ca see. I live in Miami, but I have a Los Angeles number. Mm, that's true. Oh, so you're gonna meet somebody over there. Just change the area code to the one here. No, that's true too. Yeah, you can just do the area so code I, here. So I, I tried the number below, and I didn't get a response. So I'm gonna try the number above, and I gotta give you guys an update next week. Keep us updated. What about you? Have you gonna you gonna try it? I am definitely gonna try it. What if I find like a millionaire? Then you better share. <laughs> so, Sharing is caring. That's it. I just want to watch. Except STDs. Don't share STDs. No. Not even a little bit? Not even a little bit. But if I, but if, if you pee after having sex, you're good. <laughs> no. If you jump in the pool after you have sex, you're good. No. Incorrect information. If I eat some hot sauce and take a poop after sex, I'm good. <laughs> False news. Who, what, what, I learned this all in class. What are you talking about? <laughs> and you should go get tested for STDs then. <laughs> Bum. You mean it burns when you pee? No, I burn the whole house down. <laughs> rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> Finishing up strong at Abi Maria. Go to barabimaria.com or barabimaria uh, on Instagram. Great place. Food, drinks, always taking care of. Catherine over here flexing her guns at everybody. She's like, She's got real guns. Like, for real. She's lifting she's, tables she's over like here. She's like five foot nothing, buck nothing, blonde. Mm -hmm. I don't have a type, though. <laughs> I was going to say somebody's type. Uh... My type is alive. Your type is, is that ring that you got on your finger. <laughs> is that type? <laughs> That's all they're going to find of me. <laughs> so listen, great stuff. Thank you, as always, for hanging out. Again, you can catch us. Wednesdays is Spanish Word of the Day. Sundays is the new well, the, the, drop every episode drops on drop Sunday. Drop it like it's hot. On YouTube, Spotify, Stitcher, and on SoundCloud. We're still working on iTunes. I don't know what kind of... Uh... Yeah, and you're going to be, now that football season's starting... That's right. Every what Thursday morning. Every Thursday morning. Not too early, because you know, I don't like madrugation. <laughs> but we'll have football picks for you. Obviously, uh, preseason, week one has come and gone. We'll have all... We'll have, not all, but we'll have picks for you. Um, that's going to be exclusively on Stitcher, on Spotify, Spotify, and on SoundCloud. So... Go there on Thursday mornings. You'll have my picks for the week. Uh, make yourself a little money, you know. You know, mm -hmm. go buy that. Go buy them shoes. Go buy them red bottom shoes for that girl. If I could, you know, she give it up in the booty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what happened? Why? Why I, there? I, I, I've, said, I've said too much. I've said too much. Too much. I've said too much. But Did listen, you guys see the thanks now? as always. Thanks to the folks here at Abi Maria. You got anything you want to you wanna pimp out? The, the fantasy football? Yes, we're going to be getting ready to do the fantasy football soon. Three different leagues. And we're going to have uh, a buy-in of $6.90. And you can donate more money because the winner is going to take 
uh, the majority of it. We're giving a percentage right. to a foundation, a veteran foundation. So I love it. And by the way, uh, uh, August 24th is your That's canes, right. right? I still That's like, listen, right. I'll give you a free one. I still like the canes plus seven in that one. I like it too. That better. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if they're going to win, but I like the they seven They definitely points. are going like to win. We are going to chomp some booty. That, I do, have you eaten gator? Yes. Does Mrs. Gator know you ate gator? I, I lived in Nashville. Of course I had to eat gator. <laughs> well, listen, that's the boss lady. I'm J-Rod. Good times. We will see you next week. Remember, be good. If you're going to be bad, you better call us. One number less. Number neighbors. <laughs> <Get classy. laughs> I'm going to do this number neighbors thing now. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. We'll see you next time.